Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Alright, haven't had a Lutri Companion deck yet, so can try that out. Otherwise, Fire Prophecy, Pacifism, Stinger, Wolf Bear, a lot of solid cards. Alright, I mean, I guess we can be the cycling deck with Lutri. Just gonna be all one offs. And then we can double Zenith Flare for 7 mana. That works. So we want to prioritize removal spells we can copy. Not gonna pass up on a Marmoset. Pyroceratops also card that could be fine, especially when we're forced to play all one-offs. Can have like one of the uh, tappers, can have one of each cycler. Here it's close between Ambush and Pyroceratops, but we've seen a couple Pyroceratops in previous packs, so we might wheel one of them. Although I guess Ambush is also a card that goes pretty late. Ooh, I'll take it. Nice one to copy with Lutri. We're probably not going to have the green mana, but still fine for just double blue. Take a Raking Claws. So blue seems open. Yeah, I might play Capture Sphere. Like, I could be blue-red splashing white for Zenith Flare. In which case I don't want Glider. Probably not gonna play the Terran. Could take Caves to maybe hard cast the Memory Leak. But maybe we'll need Terran if we're low on playables given the Lutri restriction. So don't really get to use second Ambush or Sphere. I guess Reader could be fine. Or I could take the Ambush anyway, in case I don't companion the Lutri. But Ambush isn't that amazing anyway. It's just a one mana cycler. Cathartic Reunion, definitely a nice one with Lutri as well. If we can pick one of those up. Thieving Otter Wield, so blue seems the most open color at the table. In this seat at least. All right, Lord Dracus. Can hope to wield the Wolverine. Gremlin, maybe. Yeah, Channeled Force. Seems fine as well. Hope to wield the developments. Don't mind the reconnaissance mission. Can cast it and sometimes it's maybe gonna run away with the game, otherwise still a two mana cycler. And then one of the two developments hopefully wheels, wouldn't mind the Paraceratops. Couple options here, Mentor, Tangorilla, Farfinder. I think I'm leaning Farfinder still. Can maybe get my mana fixing for the Zenith Flare. Wingspan Mentor. I'll take it. Frostlings, also pretty nice. 
At some point I want to pick up a Paraceratops, but I'm kind of hoping to get one late. Go for Bloods would also be pretty good. But Lynx is pretty important too. It's also nice non-human to mutate onto, potentially. Like, maybe I end up, like, heavy blue just splashing a bit of red. Maybe go for blood still better, I don't know. Like, if blue is wide open, maybe we'll get a Frostling Slate. Alright, there we go. Although this pack has a bunch of options. Smasher, Paraceratops would all be good. But we're still maybe hoping to wheel one of these. How good is Smasher in this deck? It would be okay. It's also a cycler still for uh, cycling synergies. And I only need one Frost Links if I take one now and then get one later. It's going to be kind of sad. I'll take my development now over Cloud Piercer, even though there's a chance I wheel one. But I'm not too high on the Cloud Piercer in this deck. Would be playable. It's like okay with the Thieving Otter. Got a bit of mutate synergy, but not a whole lot. Wolverine wield, nice. Nothing here. We'll just hate uh, ambush, even though I can't play two of them. A nice last pick uh, Paraceratops, so we got there. Just need a Frostlings now, I guess. Well, there's a Frostlings, let's see if there's something else. Blitz seems pretty good. Obosh seems pretty good too. I mean, I don't have to companion it. How is the mana cost in this deck? I do have a lot of three mana creatures. So, seems totally fine to just hard cast. And then... Uh, Hope to wield the Frostlings, Glimmerbell I'll take, Blitz would be good. Cathartic Reunion would also be great with Lutri. Neutralize versus Mentor versus Tranquil Cove. The fact that this cycles makes it pretty appealing. Also plays well with Lutri, which has Flash, so we can kind of keep up a bit of mana. Opponent doesn't know for representing Lutri or Neutralize. Cove would help with the Zenith Flare on the Splash. But maybe we can wheel it. Can't play another Farfinder. Glimmerbell's fine, but not super necessary. Do I now pick up my Blitz or the Lynx? Kind of depends what we wheel out of the first pack we opened. There's also Lava Serpent, which would be good. I think we've got a decent amount of ways to enable the Blitz. And if we then get to copy Blitz with a Lutri for 5 mana and kill 2 things, that's a pretty big deal. Oh man, another pretty stacked pack for us. The mana fixing, there's a reunion, there's a lynx. I really hope we get one lynx at least after passing five of them. But reunion's so good with uh, Lutri here. Already have Wolverine, already have Mission, already have Anticipate. Gust of Winds. Overkeep safe. I'll take Serpent over Cyclone. Don't think this does anything for me. Yeah, it takes a little bit too long to figure out how good Cyclone in is in this deck. But I'm assuming it's not going to be great. Maybe the Raptor with a Bosch. Nice. Cliffs. Already have a Raking Claws. 
Tangorilla doesn't seem super needed. Alright, I did end up wheeling the reunion, so now I regret not taking the Lynx. Might play Glimmerbell, could play Crystal, I guess, to cycle. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get uh, the Lynx, but this Crystal I'll take, since it actually fixes my mana. Yay, we got the Lynx chant, we did it, we got all the cards. Alright, didn't really get there on the uh, dual lands wheeling, so not sure how many white sources I want for the Zenith Flare. I have a Farfinder, a Crystal I could cast, although I might cycle it a decent amount of the time. Am I going with one planes or two planes? Also the Trap plus a Bosch I think is a combo. Yeah, this deals 6 damage with a Bosch. So I could maybe play the Tramp. So let's say we play two planes. And then... This could be a 16 land deck with all the Cyclers, maybe even 15. But let's say we start at 16 for now. Uh, how many Cyclers do we have here? Let's put them all in a pile. Some of them are more likely to be hard cast than others. Alright, so we don't have a million cyclers, but still enough for the cycling payoffs here, the Marmosets and the Zenith Flare to be decent. Make sure to put Lutri in the companion slots. I think Raptor can go. It's good with a Bosch, but it's just too easy to trade off. Don't think Glimmerbell's super needed since we're not really mutating all that much. Don't have that much removal. I've got a Blitz, I've got a Channeled Force, a Zenith Flare, a Mythos doesn't have the green for it. Don't think it's worth it to splash green for this. And then I guess Capture Sphere and Gusts has more interaction, so I've got a little bit and then go for Bloods. Neutralize as a counter spell. So probably have enough interaction for this to be reasonable. So I'm going to make four more cuts. Probably cut at least one more uh, land here with all these cyclers. Currently at 15. Although our deck wouldn't mind going up to five mana. So I don't think I want to go lower. I like Channeled Force as potentially a card we can copy with Lutri as well. Because we have to make sure we have enough things to copy here. So Reunion is great, Anticipate is great, Blitz. Then Gusta Mythos, like all these four mana cards we could potentially copy, but then of course we need seven mana, so it's pretty pricey. And then go for Blood maybe, Raking Claws maybe. And that's pretty much it. We're not going to be copying Boon. Kind of max out on the three drops to go with our Bosch. Pyroceratops seems fine. So it's unclear what these last couple cuts should be. Maybe anticipates kind of low impact enough that I don't need it. Also does power up the Ceratops. It's good with the Lord Dracus and with Lutri. And it also fuels the Blitz. I like Smasher as also potentially hard castable. Could maybe shave some of the expensive cyclers. Raking Claws, we're still gonna cast a decent amount of the time. I like Neutralize. Crystal for fixing. 
How often are we gonna actually cast this, we think? If we have like a boon in hand, or if we want to ramp into a bush. But then I don't have a 3 mana creature in place, so it's kind of low impact. I like the Wingspan Mentor quite a bit with uh, Thieving Otter and Wolverine. Giving those two flying is a pretty big deal. And otherwise I don't have any real evasion. Yeah, I guess Crystal can go. It is kind of nice that it could fix for Zenith Flare, theoretically, but I don't see myself casting the Crystal very often. I think Mythos is good just as a 4 mana clone. Especially when we can occasionally copy it with Lutri. Channeled Force is mostly going to be killing small stuff, since we're probably not going to have a ton of cards in hand. But it is still removal, which we don't have much of. And it does still power up Blitz, so I think it has enough synergy to be playable. How good is Facet Reader? Maybe I don't need it when I have Reunion and Channeled Force in the deck already. And then last cuts. I think Farfinder still kind of need it for the mana fixing. Yeah, maybe anticipates. It is filler. It does do something pretty nice in the deck, but we also have all these cyclers we want to be cycling early on, so kind of takes a similar role. It's mostly just an enabler for Blitz, I guess. All right, we'll do this. And then a mana base. Pretty even between blue and red, and then two planes for the Zenith Flare. Seems fine. Let's give this a shot. Seems fine. So Reunion, probably the spell we want to save. I think I'm okay cycling Neutralize just to put an extra spell in Graveyard for Wolverine, given that I'm going to be tapping out for the next few turns. Could still Farfinder first. Which I don't really care if it gets removed. And then turn four. Probably play Wolverine. Right, the flying counter is pretty relevant on a 3 1. And next turn we can refuel with Reunion Loot Tree, perhaps. Our deck is pretty soft to flying creatures since we don't have much removal. I'll still be discarding a bunch to hand size if I cast Reunion Lutri, but at least I'll be guaranteed to find something to deal with uh, Sabertooth. I could also cast Reunion without copying it, that's definitely an option. And then just play Marmosets. And we'll maybe find another card we can copy later. Let's do that. Lynx works too. Or I could go Marmoset, give it flying. Next turn I can go Mentor plus Lynx maybe.
probably still tap down Sabertooth. Because both the Lynx and Marmoset can block the Raptor. And then stay back. So they've got uh, Light of Hope, is what I make of this. Or they could have the Find Us one, plus one plus one indestructible. So I guess I just want to block with the Lynx. If it's indestructible, I don't want to double block. Ooh, Channeled Force. So it's kind of like a cathartic reunion, but we can also kill stuff. But I don't really want to discard the cards I currently have in hand. So probably just cast a Smasher and hold Force for now. And then I'll need an extra land in play anyway to cast it. But if I draw land next turn, I guess I need, like, ideally three cards to discard to take out the Tangorilla. So they still have the trick they had last turn. I guess if I double block with Mentor and Marmosets, then they're still forced to use it if they don't want to just trade for the Marmosets. I could take it, but I'm at 11, starting to get a little sketchy. Yeah, could be Divine Arrow. In which case, I would want to get the Smasher involved. I don't know, we'll try this. Yep, it was the indestructible trick. Still only lose the one creature here. Just gonna pass and see what happens. Can double block the Tangorilla. Can always like double deal two damage to the Tangorilla too. But if I just take three, then next turn draw cards, discard three, I get to take out Sabertooth and Tangorilla and draw a million cards. I guess I might as well cycle the Raking Claws if I'm going to discard it anyway. Because I might put more Cyclers in the graveyards. Alright, so... 4-3. Target a player. Me. To one creature. Well, that seemed pretty good. Alright. 
Well, Lutri definitely uh, did a bit of work that game. Second so cycle development and go for bloods. Lord Drakus plus Farfinders, kinda neat. To get rid of Mythos, I mean Mythos is pretty good too. Maybe one of the Cyclers can go. Cause I just need to hit one land for Farfinder to find another one. And then go for Blood, probably the more relevant one to get back later with the Drakus. Neutralizes getting cycled. Oh wow. Back for more and Nethroy. Put on stuck on two lands. Alright, so what are we doing? Um could just frost links to keep the naturalist tab down. Don't hate it. And then maybe next turn I can Lord Dracus get back the counter spell and keep it up. I guess I wouldn't be able to mutate if I double block. Hmm. Eh, fine, I'll take the three. Another naturalists. And then we're kind of gearing up for Lutri to copy something nice, maybe the Mythos. Ooh, nice. Can counter cycling. So they get to take out both and trample for one. Don't actually have enough blue mana to play Mentor and keep up neutralized, sadly. So I guess I'll pass. Because sometimes when you're playing around a counterspell, if you're in the opponent's seat, you might just like attack with the naturalists, but when we have a loot tree, that doesn't really work. Sure. Seems good enough for now.
Hopefully no more back for mores. Although if they copy or if they reanimate something big, I can copy it and then hopefully kill it later with the blitz. Although an 8-8 is a little bit too much. Opponent is looking at the graveyard. This could get ugly. Could kill the dead eye, but I can still do that next turn, so I'll probably just take my draw step. Gotta start maybe holding some lands in case I hit Reunion or uh, the other one. So I'll probably pass. Need them to play something juicy I can copy. Yeah, it is a little bit tempting to just copy the Blitz to exile the Coil Bug, but our opponent clearly has uh, some powerful cards left in hand, given the fact that they were stuck on lands early on, so... I need to be able to leverage this Mythos properly. Nah, this game seems over. Mutating this. Yeah. At least if we copy it, we get to copy the whole mutation, but I guess it doesn't matter too much in this case. Can have one Net Throw and one Void Beckoner. Or copy two Void Beckoners. Probably one of each. A bit of life would be nice. Probably still hold lands. If I draw Boon, I might want to play out the lands, otherwise... I'm better off holding them. Opponents playing four colors over there. Well, there go our blockers. Alright, GG's. Up against the Giruda deck, uh oh. It's gonna be tough. Um, I need a land to get my red sorted. But then I still need white for flare. 
descent seems too slow. Like, what do I need to draw to beat a Geruda? I guess I could copy it, maybe? Or just have an aggressive start? Yeah, I could counter it. I've got the one counter spell. That could work. So they appear to be blue reds. What is this attack? Developments. Presumably we're the beatdown in the matchup anyway, so don't mind racing. I guess we play Farfinder, get plain, cycle boon. Or I could cycle go for blood. But I can always get the boon back with Lord Rackus. Could technically be Divine Arrow too, but that's still a weird attack to make with the Divine Arrow. So I can mutate, get back Boon. And cast the Gopher Bloods. Sure. I mean, I don't have to cast it here. Depends how many cyclers they have in the deck. Could just cycle, go for blood instead, try and hit my land drops. So I guess they're just four colors here. Or maybe Grixis. And just playing this for the blue reds. Land is good. Might be able to copy the gust with Lutri to bounce two things. Paraceratops versus Porky Parrots. Wouldn't mind bouncing the Ceratops back to my hands. So I could just bounce Ceratops, tap down Geruda for now. And hold Lutri. Or I could copy the Gust, but then of course they get to replay Geruda and maybe they hit something better. Let's start here.
could even cast Ambush. Although copying this with Lutri could also be pretty sweet. So maybe this turn I just play a bunch of creatures out, and then next turn hoping to go Lutri double Ambush and basically kill them. All the rock slides. So now the ambush plan's not looking so great anymore. So might as well trade for the boot nipper then. So can't copy the boon, but I can just cast it. And then hope to draw into like a capture sphere or some other answer for Jiruda. Zenith Flare would be for one, two, three, four, five, maybe. So that copied with Lutri would also be pretty good. Guess I'll attack first. I could also ambush in their turn, but I still have a 2-3 on defense, so hopefully that's enough to survive. There's a flare. So next turn I could just flare for lethal. So I'm fine jumping with the uh, Dracus if needed. Let's see here, four, three, I wouldn't be able to also have neutralize up, so might as well cycle it now. Alright, that was a pretty sweet finish. And that's why we are splashing the white for the Zenith Flare. Now what? Could just play a Lynx without a target. So have a Mutate for Dracus and a non-human for Mentor. Yeah, I guess. Or I can just play Dracus without value. Three mana, two, two. Just a turn three Lutri. 
So maybe they're not a spell-heavy deck, but just like a red-green blue deck that's more focused on creatures, playing it as a free 3-drop. Who knows? I see, they needed a target for mutates. Alright, I guess we'll cycle. Farfinder, get a mountain, mutate the Lord Rackus on the Farfinder. Could be fine. Even have a gust of wind for two mana now, but don't really want to bounce this. And then what do I get? Boon or neutralize. Neutralize plus gust could be kind of nice to combine if we draw another islands. I think I'll still go for boon. Might just Gus plus Lutri next turn if the opportunity presents itself. All right, then. We're in trouble. Gonna need to find like a capture sphere or Yeah, bouncing Iluna is not really a solution. Unless we can, like, try and tempo them out. But I guess maybe that's still my best bet. Yeah, I think I'm just double bouncing. Oh, Bosch could certainly close out a game in a hurry. We're both kind of sitting here with a million cards in hand. But they've got a couple more lands. So the hope is they just tap out for Iluna and we get to slam a Bosch and kill them. If this is a removal spell copied by Lutri, we're gonna be in trouble. Ah yes, flame spill times two. So there goes our game plan. Could see Net Flare Lutri, but that's basically my entire turn. And I only hit for four. That doesn't seem great. Yeah, I guess I like Obosh, and then I guess I can start by cycling. Maybe offering the trade still worth it in case they like mutate and kill me with a flyer, but I'm at eight. So they would need like two plus one plus one counters with like the spider. I don't know. Drankus get back flame spill. But doesn't kill a bush.
ram through. And then I can flame spill the mentor, but then they're chumping. I guess I could block a bosh and finish it off with a flame spill. And take two down to six. Zenith flare is only for three at the moment. So I don't think I attack with a bosh, just send in the mentor. Let them flame spill if they want to. Deploy otter and ceratops, and then next turn we can flare. If I flare Lutri, I guess I get in for six, so that's also reasonable. And then I can still play otter. Maybe that's better actually. Because then they don't get to use their flame spill on a bosh this turn, and I get to connect for six and put another lethal threat on the board. And then next turn I can reunion, because I need a lance to play otter now. And it also removes any mutate targets. And Reunion gives us a shot at finding another removal spell, perhaps. Great Horn, keep up three mana. That's a lethal lava serpent. Let's go for it. Oh no, the thwarts. The one card. <laughs> uh. Alright, that was unexpected. Well, we're not necessarily dead on the way back, but that hurts. So I guess I keep land in hand for reunion. Oh wow. Alright, I guess we lose now. What am I hoping for at this point? Wingspan Mantra's gone, Flare is gone. Lord Rackus to get back, Flare is gone as well. Why can't this go to players? I guess we cycle. A big scary Wolverine. I guess Wolverine plus a Bosch is pretty good actually. Alright. I mean, if I attack, I force them to block with Kogla pretty much. And that's a trade. Or do I stay back? Probably better to stay back. The one life could matter, but I also want extra cards to potentially discard to the force. But it feels like we're pretty dead here if they have anything. The thwarts into the Kogla was pretty brutal. I guess when you're playing a Lutri deck, you end up uh, playing more cards you wouldn't usually play. Although Thwart has been pretty good against us today. It's just pretty situational. They've got some nice ones. Is 
So I can channel force killing the mentor. I mean, maybe we'll draw a removal spell and it's just game, but we'll start here. Fine tapping my whites. Does that do it? Go for blood. Kill the great horn. Wow, what a game. No thwarts this time. Oof. Yeah, if Channeled Force didn't specifically target a player, then it could have fizzled it by returning the mentor to their hands. But because it specifically mentions target a player, that doesn't happen. Well, that's definitely one of the closest games I've had in uh, recent memory. Not a Winota. Might have a playset now. Cyclone. Guess we'll have to make a deck around this at some point. Alright, so we're starting to complete the entire set once we get to the point where we open the same bulk rare twice in a row. And a Labyrinth Raptor. Alright, sweet. So yeah, that was a fun draft. Trying to draft around Lutri, especially just the drafting portion itself was pretty interesting. With uh, trying to plan for which cards to maybe try and wheel, which cards to take uh, a little bit earlier, which we... I think we ended up with basically every card we wanted in the deck, including the Frost Links that we passed up on four times and the uh, Paraceratops that we also got pretty late, so it's definitely an interesting puzzle to try and solve while drafting. I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.